So, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Sangoma Vega 60, and this is true for most of the Vegas that they have available. I'll be showing you how to set them up for automatic backups to an FTP server. I'll also go over the settings for TFTP server, but we're actually using an FTP server in-house for these backups, and I'll show you how to set that up now. The first thing you'll need to do is to log into your Vega. Now, I will not be going over how to set up an FTP server or a TFTP server. Um, you can use any of the FTP servers you can find out there. Um, for these testing purposes, we're using FileZilla, um, but you can use any FTP or TFTP server that you would like. Um, like I said, we'll be using FileZilla. I've already built that side and set up the folder and all the user permissions accordingly. This is just the Vega setup side. It's fairly easy, but you do have to know a few little places and um, you have to understand the um, auto exec portion of the, of the system. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your Vega, then go to configuration, and then go to LAN WAN. Now this is the area where you're going to set up the default FTP, I mean the default file transfer method, as well as the FTP server IP address, and the username and password. So once you're in the LAN WAN, you'll go to file transfer method and select FTP and click submit. After you've clicked submit and you make changes to these you'll get a save config apply config button on the left as you progress. Now I've already set this one up so we may not see those buttons just know they're there and once you finish all these settings you have to save apply config and then reboot the system. So the next thing you'll do is go to FTP parameters change it to a static IP address and put in the IP address of your FTP server here and click submit. We're going to use the standard LAN profile, LAN 1 and as you see now it's giving me the apply config button. We'll go back into FTP parameters but this time we'll click configure FTP and in this section is where you actually configure and set up the username and password. You can also set up an FTP timeout or an FTP port if you're using something other than the standard. You can have it do a ping test at the beginning of the FTP transfer so it verifies the server is available before trying to open the connection. Um, by default this is set to anonymous login. Um, that's not very secure for your FTP server so most FTP servers have anonymous login turned off, so you'll have to specify username and password. That's what you would do that here. You would select username login, put in the username that you've created, and the password that you've created on your FTP server, and then click Submit. Alrighty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once you've done that, you've got your FTP server specified. You've got the username and password that it's going to use specified. Now we need to go to system and actually set up the process that uses this FTP information to push the config file to your FTP server so you have a backup of it. And the way you do that is by going to system, auto exec settings, you can leave the auto exec on boot parameters alone, but you'll want to change the scheduled auto exec parameters. Now, you can set these up. You can have multiple auto exec parameters that are scheduled. So, if you wanted to do some other jobs um, in the background and have them scheduled, you could do that. Now, what we're doing is we're running a script on this particular device and it's a, it's, a, it's a CLI command, it's a back-end command, um, and to specify that it's a back-end command, you have to put in the pound-pound. 
and that tells the script run this as CLI command. Now what it'll do is it'll then we'll run the command we want to run which is the put which is the I want you to transfer a file. So we're going to do put and then we're going to use the FTP protocol colon either if you're backing up your FTP and you only have one Vega you can just do put FTP colon config.txt for us we have multiple Vegas and obviously can't write the same config.txt file to the same location for multiple devices because it'll just overwrite them and then I'll only have one for one of my devices so what I've done is on my FTP server I have folders built for each location and then my command I'm telling it to put using FTP colon the folder name I created for this location and then slash forward slash config.txt now config.txt is the configuration file on the Vega and that is the one that you would use to restore from if you have needed to so we're doing that that's the location that I want it to be that's the file name that I want to put the next portion is when we want this to happen now this gets a little confusing um, but if you'll read through the script name or the syntax information over here you'll see for the when how to do it so in this particular situation we're saying that we want this script to run at 2.50 in the afternoon every day of the week so if you look and it's a little confusing but you have the syntax field win here alright and this is the section so each one of these is a section this is the minute section or 50 so at 50 minutes on the 14 hour which is 2 in the afternoon and then the third section is the day of the month so we want it to do this on any day of the month and for us the slash one if you look here slash one or slash n means every n intervals so if I wanted this to run every other day I would do my minutes my hour star slash two and what that will do is it will run every other day um, <clears throat> and then you could also select every month so say if you only wanted to run this for the months of March then you would put in March um, we clearly want it to run every day of every month of the year um, and then the last one is day of the week so say you want it to only run on Mondays to Fridays every month of every 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 one of those days of every month but only Monday through Friday not Saturday and Sunday then you would put Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday in this format here um, just remember to use the slash the slash in interval it's a little frustrating because it is kind of confusing but they do have a couple of examples here so read through those um, but for us we're just doing a nightly backup of this config file every day um, doesn't matter what day of the week it is doesn't matter what month it is doesn't matter if it's a holiday we want to back up every single night um, and it rewrites the file every time so you don't have multiple backups um, you could create a few different jobs and have a couple different folders maybe like a location Monday folder location Tuesday folder location Wednesday folder and have this run every Monday of every month um, and so on and so forth we are just wanting this one file backed up every night it doesn't change very much on these particular devices so it's not a huge problem but there are a lot of options on how you could do this if you wanted to have a few different options. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was the TFTP side 
Everything else is pretty much the same. You would just change a couple options. Um, TFTP obviously doesn't use a username and password. Um, so you could just change your file transfer method to TFTP. And then instead of using the FTP parameters, go to your TFT parameters and select your IP address. Now, I haven't looked. You could change the port. You could also do the ping test, and you can also lengthen or shorten the timeout timer, depending on, you know, in case you have a slower network. Um, you don't need a lot of space to back up this file. It's not a large file. It's, a, uh, it's not even a meg, I don't think. It's just a straight text output of the configuration on the Vega. Um, but it is nice to have, especially if you have a device go bad and you got to go replace it much better than having to completely rebuild the Vega every time. <laughs> so that's how you do the Vega backups. Please leave any comments if you have any questions, and thank you for your time.